We are relying on statistical data from the UK or neighboring uh, Mediterranean countries, but uh, in certain fields of medicine, we actually don't have a data about the Gibraltarian population. We are concentrating on the GI disorders, and uh, these would involve the gut-related symptoms, stomach pains, abdominal pains, and uh, we are uh, hoping to get uh, meaningful information about the population from this point of view, so we are able then to tailor our services around this. From research point of view, Gibraltar is a very interesting place. Uh, it's a, a very apart place where geopolitical and multicultural setting is very important. In all fairness, if we manage to get the participation rates we are hoping from the population, uh, we hope actually to put Gibraltar on the map of the research world. You mentioned that Gibraltar has often relied on um, research from outside such as the UK or the Mediterranean. So how come a study of this nature hasn't been done before in Gibraltar? There have been lots of efforts done in this way and uh, we have to recognize we don't have a medical school, hence the academic network behind that is missing. So most of our clinicians have been, we have been focused on the clinical work and less on the academic aspect of, the, of, of medicine. Uh, lately we actually see a lot of support from the University of Gibraltar and uh, the recent establishment of the postgraduate medical school will definitely encourage this uh, process to happen. Uh, so we are hopeful from this point of view. On the other hand, we have to mention that the public health department has actually concluded quite uh, important two studies before. This was one in 2008 and one in 2015, where we're looking into the health and lifestyle uh, uh, survey of, of the adult population of Gibraltar. So your focus is, of course, gastrointestinal disorders. So explain to me how this relates to everyday life. There is an emerging interest and knowledge about how the mind and body is interacting. And uh, we know that that specially applies uh, when it comes to the gastrointestinal disorders. Uh, there is a, a tremendous effect on the lives of people who are suffering with chronic and unpredictable symptoms. Uh, so their quality of life uh, will be negatively influenced by this. On the other side, we also know that stress and certain psychological conditions will influence the way, the way we are perceiving these symptoms. And on the long run, they might actually lead to an escalation to a gastrointestinal disorder or an emotional disturbance.